And because he always was seen wearing the color purple, uh, that was kind of his trademark. Uh, you could almost look at it as a logo clothing for Norman was the man in purple. He had unusual treatments, that I, especially one that I know of, for curing cancer. And one of those was um, peppermint oil and kerosene was used for open lesions my grandmother was treated by him uh, for breast cancer and she could come home a couple of weekends but my aunts had to apply the mixture of the right amount of peppermint oil and kerosene to her lesions. The effect probably on my family was um, a real disregard for Norman Baker and the way I heard my dad speak of, of it was that um, he robbed their, them of their hope as well as their money. He took everything that the people that came to him, not just my grandmother, but the people that came to him paid money thinking they were going to be cured. And in order to cover up some of the people that were not cured, my dad would tell the story of there was like a sally port between the clinic and the now uh, building where H&I's headquarters and the future home of the library is going to be. And if someone passed away, they were not removed by the funeral homes until under cover of darkness. I think he, he was that vaudevillian, that showman, that he had to have something that was outward that people would believe that he had to cure. And by not having um, the uh, purses or funeral homes show up at his hospital to take away the body, uh, he was um, keeping that secret how many people actually did pass away. He wanted it to appear that he had a cure. I know that after my grandmother passed away, my dad was only 14, and he was very sad. And it was right around Christmas time. Uh, he wasn't even able to go to the funeral. And because uh, at that time, you would be quarantined for like measles or chicken pox or any of those. So he had one of the childhood diseases. And they brought her casket next to his bedroom window where he was quarantined. And so he didn't even get closure to say goodbye. The years later, um, when the Elks Club was on the corner of Front Street and Mulberry, which is now Mississippi Drive in Mulberry, uh, and now it's a beautiful landscape parking lot, but um, you could look up and you could see the Baker Institute building, and my dad would never park his car where he had to look that cancer is curable. She may have been diagnosed. They went to Rochester, and Rochester said, there is nothing they can do. This is, uh, this is oral history, oral family history for my aunt. Mm -hmm. And when um, they came back, uh, they went to talk to uh, her family and ask, you know, what do you think? Should we go to try the Baker Institute? Or should, and it's like, what do you have to lose? Is basically what they, what they did. And that's, um, you know, that's kind of a sad way to, to think of it. I don't, they were looking for hope. Um, and there, in those times, uh, in her case, it just wasn't a hopeful outcome. It was almost verboten uh, in our family to talk about him. Uh, but it was only after my dad passed away and my, a couple of my aunts were still alive that some of the oral history family things were shared. If the guy would have stayed out of medicine, <laughs> he probably would have been a hero in Muscatine, but he didn't. But I do think that some people walked away and thought Norman was his institute and Dr. Hoxley um, were miracle workers and other people walked away especially like my dad and his sisters, um, 
feeling uh, a resentment for what he had put my grandmother through. Muscatine is better off having Norman Baker as part of his history uh, because of the, the good things that he did do, uh, the inventions, the entrepreneurship. Uh, and I think maybe <laughs> I'm not as much of a uh, note of, uh, boy, I'm glad this happened, but because of the, the health care issues that he brought up with the cancer is curable, uh, people were more aware and um, they're more curious. And so we have this man who was a vaudevillian who came along and made Muscatine famous for being a center for uh, curing cancer and uh, starting many businesses, but nobody wanted to talk about him after uh, he was gone.